your dreams, goals and desire, aspirations, it's… it's good that you spend little more time on it and see, will this really mean something to you even after twenty-five years, fifty years? If you are in your deathbed, will it still mean something to you? You must look at it. Whatever you are aspiring for, whatever you are dreaming of, whatever goals you have set, will it really mean something? Because most of these goals are traps. So, it will be very good if anybody of your age, if they want to decide and fix the goals of their life, it'll be very good if they take a break from all influence that's around them. Social influences, family influences, other influences, withdraw somewhere, sit down, meditate, bring yourself to a certain level of clarity and joy. When you're very happy and clear, you must decide. Not in desperation you set goals. Desperate goals that you set will mean a lot to you at that moment, Tomorrow morning you look, you don't know why you're tangled up with it. So, uh, it'll be good. If you're… if you're fixing your life, it's best that you do it when you're very, very peaceful, happy and clear-headed, isn't it? Not influenced by anything around you, simply by yourself. Sit and decide what is it that you really want to become in your life. What is it that will be of enduring value for you? not for somebody else, for you. And you don't have to build a personality for that, you strive for that. The necessary persona will come. So personality is something that you have taken on, but you have become so unconscious about it that you think it's for real. It's, you're… you're asking how to develop, that means you're making it up, right? Another word for developing is making up, isn't it? You're making it up. Make it up whichever way is suitable for your kind of activity, but you must be able to keep it down. If it gets stuck to your face, then it becomes misery. Then all suffering will come to you. You can take on any kind of personality, but when you want to keep it down, you must be able to keep it down. So, this is what meditation is for you. Every day when you sit, you strip yourself down, you don't have to do anything about it. If you sit there simply, see, anything that's made up needs constant support from you, isn't it? See, suppose you tell a lie, it needs constant support to keep it up, isn't it? But if something is true, you can even forget it, but it's still there, isn't it? You understand what I'm saying? If something is true, even if you forget it, it's still there, no problem. But if it's a lie, you have to keep it up. Your personality is a lie. Your being, your existence is the… is the truth. You don't have to keep this up, this will be anywhere there. What you make up for the sake of the society to function in the society, you need a certain kind of makeup. You must be able to keep it down. If you are going to bed fully made up, and something wrong with you.